How's it going guys? Mr. Bass, I've got another unboxing for you today. It's another multi-species box from Mr. Bass. You guys know that watch my channel know I like the multi-species because you get bass lures, crappie lures, pan all kinds of panfish lures, trout lures. It gives you the whole rounded picture, which I think is really nice, especially if you like to fish a lot of small bodies of water looking for those panfish and then like to catch bass and bigger fish at the same time. Speaking of panfish, check out that crappie on a bladed jig. Wow. Haven't caught a crappie on a bladed jig. I have caught a pretty big crappie on uh, bass lures though plenty of times. And then we got Oklahoma's worst angler giving us the tip of the month. And then, VIP deal on Tungsten. Then we got a sticker. Now we'll hit the lures. In fact, let's hit the non-lures first. How about this? Strike King Tour Grade Fluorocarbon 15 pound test. I like this Strike King uh, Fluorocarbon. This is high quality stuff. This is 70 yards, but this little uh, suction cup idea, simple, clever. Why didn't somebody else think of that a long time ago? I really like that idea as well. All right, we got some Mustad KVD grip treble size four. Can always use some red treble hooks. That'd go good on a big topwater plug. This month, the multi-species box has more bass stuff in it than anything. Interesting. Like, for example, the V&M Wild Lizard. Nine and a half inch lizard. Dude. That is a big bass bait. Springtime lure. You can never go wrong with lizards. I love throwing lizards in the springtime. Bama bug color. Then we got a Jinko crankbait deep diver in fire tiger the big t crappy crankbait drives crappy crazy with its unique rattling system and colors that thing is huge i guess you've got to have crappy this size for this to work but that seems pretty exciting to catch a ginormous crappie on a deep diving crankbait. All right, then we got the Rebel Jumping Minnow, which is, you know, this is just a little uh, topwater high floater lure that, again, big crappie would hit that. Bass will definitely hit that. The Jumpin' Minnow. The Strike King Mini Buzzbait. Look at that little guy. I love buzzbaits. And I've thrown some pretty small ones. I don't think I've thrown anything this small. Although this buzzbait blade is about the same size of the blade on that Ribbit Frogs Buzzit that I fished the other day. But uh, again, bass will hit this, but I think the intention here is for to use it as a panfish lure. I can't recall catching panfish on top water. So see, this is kind of like mind expansion. Is it possible? Maybe need to take some of these lures out and give it a try. The Lunker Hunt Jolt 8F. Crankbait. This is a turbo craw. This is a tight wobbling crankbait. You can see the flat side on it. And uh, dives to eight feet, three eighths of an ounce. Interesting, see I would, uh, it, this is kind of a curved square bill is what it is. Nope. Then we've got a Stanley flipping jig, half ounce. Check that out. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, this color is kind of a black and red. Um, maybe a California craw color. Canadian craw color is what that kind of reminds me of. It's got black and red. And uh, the Stanley jigs, you know, have been around forever. It's pretty compact. Uh, they call it a flipping jig. That thing, you can look at the head. It can definitely get through grass. Kind of a grass jig as well. You could probably swim that also. And the final thing is the old reliable Spin Master Spinny Spinner Bait. Three eighths ounce. Lunker Candy. This is Chartreuse White, which of course is one of the best colors for a spinner bait. How about that? That's the box this month. A lot of what I would call bass lures. Spinner bait, obviously you can catch them on uh, crappie and bass on a spinner bait, but that looks more bassy to me. Buzz bait, although it's tiny. Smaller walking plug. Walk the dog bait. Another deep diving crankbait. A semi flat sided square bill. A Stanley flipping jig. You got your treble hooks. You got your Strike King fluorocarbon. And the wild thing lizards. Dude, I love this box because uh, I'm a bass fisherman. And I really think this has a lot of options for bass. And, you know, I've been getting a, a panfish box from Lucky for quite a while. And the one thing I've noticed with the panfish box, and this applies with uh, bass boxes as well, but I think it's even more so on the panfish side, is just how many little crappie jigs do you need in your life? I mean, there comes a point where there's just redundancy over and over the same sort of soft plastics that go with your little jig heads and that kind of stuff, the little tubes, you know, those kind of things. And that's another reason why multi-species makes a lot of sense because, you know, some months you don't need a ton of panfish lures. You, it's nice to have more bass lures, especially if you're not getting a bass box. This is great. You know, we had more panfish lures last month. This month we got more bass lures. It's it's kind of a win-win. I really think if you're kind of on the fence when it comes to monthly subscription boxes and you're not just a one-trick wonder where you fish only bass or only bluegill or only crappie or only walleye or whatever, the multi-box really kind of covers a lot of those bases. So just something to think about. Hope this was helpful and enjoyable. If so, please subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. And until next time, this is Mr. Bass. Happy fishing!